In today's video, we are talking about the law of attraction and more importantly, letting go. What does letting go actually mean? Are we letting go of our desires, the very things that we want, or are we letting go of something else? <music> So today we're talking about the law of attraction and more importantly, one of its subcomponents, letting go. The idea of learning to let go of the very things that you're trying to manifest into your existence. Earlier on in my journey, this was one of the most difficult ideas to conceptualize. How do I want and desire the thing that I want while simultaneously letting it go. It almost seems counterintuitive. Learning to let go wasn't one of the ideas or lessons that were really explained thoroughly to me. It was more of a feeling, just feel like you're letting go. And that wasn't enough for me to actually learn how to let go. So I thought what I would do is share with you guys some of the lessons that I learned about letting go and what letting go actually means and help in hopes that it will help you guys learn to let go and start manifesting things into your existence a little bit quicker. I think it's first important to discuss what letting go is not. Letting go is not letting go of the things that you want. If, if the things that you want to manifest are not on your mental or universal peripheral, out of sight, out of mind. So the universe, God will not know what it is you're looking for if you're letting it go completely not thinking about it. So understanding that letting go is not letting go of your desires entirely is the first step into learning how to let go. The first thing you need to learn to let go of is the need to know and figure out how your manifestations will come about. The next thing we need to learn to let go of is our arrogant mind. Letting go of your arrogant mind means letting go of listening to it, listening to your mind, when it tells you that it's impossible to achieve what you're trying to achieve because your mind has no direct knowledge as to how that thing can come about. Our brains are really tricky. Our brains think that it knows everything and that it has explored every possible option or possibility or opportunity out there. And therefore, because I've already mapped out all of the ways that this manifestation can come to me, it is now impossible for me to actually attract this thing. That is what you need to let go of, this arrogant conscious brain of ours. The other things that we need to let go of are obviously doubts and our fears. And that's followed by the most important one to me, which is letting go of any contradictions in your thinking as it relates to the thing that you're trying to attract into your life. This is one of the most difficult things to do. Whenever we have an idea or a thought that conflicts with or contradicts our desire, something that's not in alignment with our desire, it is our job to stop that thought in its tracks, push it away, and then focus back on the feeling of receiving the thing that we want or experiencing the, uh, the manifestation. That's what our job is to do, to stop any conflicting ideas or thoughts that are not congruent with or in alignment with our desires. And the last thing we need to let go of, which is a really important one as well, is letting go of the people around us who mirror and match those fears, those doubts, those that negative self-talk. If you're constantly surrounded by people who are not supporting you, who don't believe that it's possible for you to achieve what you want to achieve, you're always going to be internalizing that and therefore making it more difficult for your manifestations to come to you. So getting rid of those social circles or social interactions or relationships with people who you know are only just putting you down and who aren't serving you and helping you achieve your goal, that's what you have to let go of. So that's it. I'm going to keep this video really, really short. I wanted to share with you what letting go actually means. Again, we're not letting go of our dream. We're not letting go of our desires because if we do, then it's not going to come to us. We're letting go of anything, which could be a thought, it could be a person, which is in direct contradiction to our ideas, our manifestations, our desires. That's all. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it helps you while you're on your journey. Share with me your ideas, your thoughts about the idea of letting go and what letting go means to you. Thank you, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.